What's up good people? East Coast 360 back with another video for you guys. Hope everybody's enjoying their weekend. And uh, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow's matchup between the Miami Heat and the new look New York Knicks. Uh, the Heat are coming in at like 43 and 16 and the Knicks are a brisk looking 29 and 27 coming off a horrible horrible loss last night uh, to the Cleveland Cavaliers they gave up like 115 points uh, it, it was ridiculous and uh, the night before that they gave up like I think uh, 110 to the Bucks uh, in, in Melo's debut and pretty much my reason for posting this video is is I want to know how you people expect the Knicks to stop the Heat tomorrow? I mean, I'm a I'm a Knicks fan. I don't hate on the Heat or hate on the Bron. You know, I appreciate everybody's talent. And um, the thing that strikes me here is the Knicks. They are playing no defense at all. They they can't get a stop when they need one. They're letting everybody score over a hundred. Uh, I mean, coming into yesterday's game, I said if the Knicks let Cleveland score over 100, it's going to be ridiculous. And not only did they score over 100, they scored 115. You know, I don't even know. That might be a season high for them. Uh, maybe since LeBron's been there. I don't even know, you know, how long it's been since they've done that. But, and uh, I know everybody's quick to blame the coach, you know, Dan Tony. But to be honest with you guys, you know, I'm going to keep it real. The Knicks, you know, not just the Knicks. Any team in the NBA, these players that are there, they're professional ball players. You know, you can't teach them how to play defense now. You know, if they don't play defense, you know, if they don't concentrate on defense and take pride in their D, then they're not gonna, you know, uh, learn defense now. It's too late. Like you learn how to play D when you learn the fundamentals of the game. You may learn certain things now. And I'm not talking about chemistry. I'm just talking about like defense. You know, being up on a guy. You know, and make sure you're moving your feet. I mean, last night Melo he fouled out of the game. And some people were quick to say like, oh, he was playing defense. You know, he got uh, he got all his fouls trying to play D. Like, no, I look at it more like Melo was kind of lazy in his defense and he's not really, you know, moving his feet well because that's the key. When you pick up fouls, you, you you're not really moving your feet too well I mean, a case could be made an argument could be made that you know the player's a little bit lazy so you know I don't want to single out Melo here this is just for anybody I'm just trying to make a point so I want to know what you guys think you know what do you guys think about tomorrow's game do the Knicks have a shot at winning this uh, or are the Heat going to put up like 120 and it's just going to be over um, so what do you think What's the problem with the Knicks, D? What could they do to fix it? Let me know. You guys have a good weekend. Don't forget to comment. And uh, make sure you rate the video either way. And I'll talk to you guys next time. East Coast. Peace.